Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan, and this is Peanut. Hello, I'm Peanut. Come here. Come inside. You're right. I'm not late, man. I'm free. In this multi-part video series, and when I say multi-part, I actually mean like 20-something parts. If you look right up there in the title, it'll tell you part one of however many it is. This first part is just going to be an introduction to the series. I have spent more time on this video series than I have on any of the other projects I've done. I hope this sets a standard for my future videos as well as future finished carpentry that goes into my tiny house. I have countless hours into this front door which I'm about to show you. So for the past six months I've had this basically a shed door with a padlock as my lock and that has been my door. And on the inside I have this nail that gets poked through here and I drilled a hole right there too so, and that's how I locked the house right here just a nail I know really really ghetto in this video series I'm going to be going from this to this so this is a 22 part video series part two to part five is going to be filmed on my GoPro camera without a microphone the quality is going to be way less than what this is right now and it's a whole nother story that gets told throughout this video series. And then part 6 to 11 is going to be filmed on a Canon Vixia HFR 400 or something like that with a microphone. The audio is going to be good, but the video is not wide angle lens. Not really what I, I like in a video. And then we switch over to this camera that I'm using right now. So keep that in mind as you're watching the series uh, that the, the quality is going to be drastically changing and getting better throughout this series. Now these videos are going to be released twice a week on Sundays and Thursdays for the next, I think it's like two and a half months. So in this series, I'm going to be going over cutting all this material to length, mortise and tenant joinery, chamfering, um, installing door handles, making a door frame goes around it. Now in this series, there are sub-series, I guess I could say. So I was installing this door handle. That ended up being two parts of this series. So that's broken down into drilling it and then installing it. And another mini series would be the door frame that I made to go around the door. A lot of people are going to buy a pre-made door or probably a door that they found at like a rehab store or something like that. So I thought it would be good to make a, a good video description of how I made the frame that goes around the door because you're going to have to make a frame to fit a, uh, a door that you purchased. So that series right there is three parts of this 20 something series. Another long part is me installing the window. That was a lot of work to do that. There was a sanding video. There's pretty much everything you need to know about doing some type of project like this and it's all free. Free for you to see. Now if you are one of my Patreon supporters, you are lucky because you are getting this whole series all at once. I'm leaving a link down below in this video of my Patreon account. If you want to see this whole series and help support my channel at the same time, head over there and you can support it by doing any dollar amount. A dollar would be good, five dollars would be great, um, which all that money is going to help me do projects that I've been doing uh, and also I would like to start a second build, a second tiny house on a cheap scale because this house is obviously if you can tell this is not cheap so that the new one will be like rehabbed windows doors the woods gonna be salvaged everything the trailer is gonna be an old camper trailer now that old camper trailer is gonna cost me probably 500 bucks so until my patreon account reaches that dollar amount I won't be able to do much with that account so I work a night shift job so most of this video was filmed from like 10 p.m. to like 4 a.m. So Peanut wasn't really around for most of the video. So I have incorporated her into the video occasionally, uh, adding her little sarcastic remarks here and there. I definitely want my Patreon supporters to let me know what they think. If they think they're really stupid, then I'll go back, re-edit, re-upload before those videos are released to the public. So you're watching this video today, which should be like January 24th. Today is actually like January 12th which means I've got a week and a half-ish to finish editing the series and getting it up on YouTube. Fingers are crossed I can do it. It's a lot of, uh, lot of stuff I gotta do. I gotta do the intros and outros to all the videos, and I gotta go back and add Peanut and the other dogs into the videos. So part 22 will be a question and answer video. Um, I won't be answering questions in the comment section below. If you will though, leave your questions down below, and then part 22, 
I will be, I have my computer over there, I needed to look at it. I won't be answering questions in the comment section. If you will though, leave them down below in all the videos. And then when we get to part like 20, uh, 19, I guess when we get to part like 19, I will film a video for the Q&A. And then that video will be uploaded. I know a lot of people are gonna wanna know how heavy is the door? Uh, why did I do this? Why did I do that? And why didn't I do that? Because. I used to build multi-million dollar houses, and when I say multi-million, these damn things were 15,000 square foot houses. They were beautiful, and they always had a really, really nice front door. And I always said if I was going to build my own house, that I was going to build a solid mahogany front door. So this is a solid mahogany front door. Um, I will go over all those dying questions that you have in the Q&A video. How much I spent? How long did I spend? How much does it weigh? And whatever else comes up in the comment section below. So, look forward to this. Let me know what you think. Now this is one of the biggest series that I've ever done. So I will be watching my analytics to see if I'm losing people on it. And uh, if it seems to be something that you guys enjoy, then I'll probably do several more series like this. Um, currently, right now, I'm starting my windows which is a whole nother project in itself, but I haven't been filming it like I filmed this front door. I'll probably just make that a couple episodes. I spit, did you see the spit? Someone saw it, someone saw it. It'll be there. You spit at, at 608 seconds, oh God, it's disgusting. I didn't use a lot of things that you would see in some hardcore woodworking shop. So if this is something that you think you can't make, you're right, you can't because you're already thinking it. But I'll tell you that you can do something like this. It just takes a lot of time. And if it's something that you wanna do, you can do it. So keep that in mind as you're watching this series. And hopefully it motivates you to build your own front door. I'm amazed. It's the nicest thing I've ever made in my life. So please let me know what you think of the series and if I should continue filming stuff like this and documenting the build like this. If you want to support me, please, 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 again, go check out my Patreon account. The link is in the description below, right below me. Yep, below me. If you're watching this video in my tiny house playlist that I have for my entire builds, I won't be putting the remaining videos for this project into this playlist. Uh, I will be making a separate playlist. That link for that playlist will be in the description below once all these videos are released to the publics. So if you want to watch this complete series make sure you go check it out. It'll be down there in the description and then make sure you come back and pick up where this left slot leaves off because I'm sure there'll be more videos. Now if you are one of my Patreon supporters and you have all those files that I sent you, it's going to be a lot, don't share those just yet. Wait until they're released to the public if that makes sense. Because if I see them out there, I'm going to get upset. And then I'm going to have to delete them and make them private. And that will screw everything up. You'll screw everything up. Oh, God. I'm a love machine. Okay, thank you. No, no, look what you've done. You've gotten me dirty. I'm trying to make a video, Peanut. And I got a shit stain right there. Well, shit. But thank you guys for your continued support of my build. Uh, I hope you enjoy this series, and we will see you on Thursday for part two, which is going to be the beginning. This is the only video that I will actually be drinking water in. Well, I was probably drunk in the, in the intro of that, but whatever.